what's happening guys thanks for tuning in um, I don't do a lot of uh, YouTube channel stuff uh, we promised everybody this year that we would do more of it um, and we're bringing you this uh, episode um, based on some products that I think that are going to be essential for a lot of you custom painters um, talking about custom paint foundations and Tamco has a lot of products that you wouldn't even believe are extremely useful in what we do. Um, right now, what we're doing is we're working on a project, um, and this project is an older uh, 70s vehicle that had to be pretty much taken down to bare metal. And a lot of you guys ask, like, so what do you do with the bare metal situation? Like, what's the best, epoxy or straight DTM? Um, in this case, uh, we wanted to use a combination of both the 5310, which is a DTM, direct to metal type, uh, type material, and we're also using the epoxy, which is uh, pretty much direct to anything material. Um, if you visit tampopaint.com, you can get all the spec sheets on this stuff. Um, I've been using this stuff for about four years, uh, very consistently. And uh, I just want to wanna let you guys know that this is the best product uh, for what I'm doing and for all the customer cars that I've been, I've been working on over the years. I try not to deviate. Um, the product is, um, is very friendly with a lot of different substrates. So a lot of you guys worry about plastics and flexible materials. Um, I haven't had any problems with that either. A lot of you guys do a lot of uh, plastic bumpers and European cars and... Uh, SUVs that have a lot of plastic parts. Uh, I'm just freestyling this, so don't don't uh, go crazy over me. There's no edit. Uh, probably edit a couple of little sections of this video. Um, this is basically your 5310 DTM. On this particular project, we used the epoxy because everything was pretty much stripped down to bare metal. Um, the main key idea behind the bare metal is you know what you're starting with. You know, I see a lot of you guys out there, and I'm not calling no names, that's not what this conversation is about, but sanding over previously painted stuff isn't the right way to go either. You know, sanding over stuff that's, you know, been painted twice or three times and then putting a, a basic DTM over that, look, man, stop doing that. You know, stop, stop with that because, you know, what happens to your, your substrate is, um, is being abused. You know, at that point, you're layering so much stuff that... At the end result, your paint looks wonky. It looks really thick on the edges, and it just looks really weird. So try to get stuff down sanded. If it's not to bare, bare metal, at least get most of that material off so you can start fresh. Um, 5310 uh, is very good at high build. So a lot of you guys used to the PPG products and then the Chroma products from, from Exalta. Um, this product will actually... Uh, to me, take place of that in your shelf if you wanted to. Um, the epoxy. Epoxy is really great. It's mixed one-to-one. -one. Um, not like your 5310, which is a four-to-one mix, which, which has its own hardener. Okay? And the epoxy also has its own hardener, and it's mixed one-to-one. -one. You get a large amount of material out on the substrate off the rip. That's 50-50. Um... Again, that's for you bare, bare metal guys. That's for, you know, a lot of you guys doing aluminum stuff. And, you know, this is the shit. I'm sorry to, you know, use that language, but this is the shit. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you've got these long-term projects been sitting around for a year, two years. This is, this is the game. Um, let's go into another thing, prep. Prep is everything. I don't care if you got the most expensive paint on that car. I don't care if you got the most expensive candy. I don't care if you got the most expensive clear. If you don't have a good foundation to work with, you don't have a good project. Um, I've learned that many ways. Um, I've learned that in different ways over the years. Uh, I try to cut corners here, try to cut corners there. Uh, believe you me, it doesn't work out. Um, now, a lot of you guys also talk about price. Price is everything in the business that we're in. Um, if you price it right and your job is good, you can always get money, save money through Tanko. 
Get the right amount of materials. Gallon size, gallon size. A lot of you guys, you know, again, I'm not here to criticize anyone. I'm just saying, quartz? Stop buying quartz, man. You're spending too much money. Um, call Tamco. Talk to their service providers. They can get you in the right direction as far as what material for that project. Don't matter how big or how small. A lot of this stuff I use on wall art and Arctic cups and all kinds of different little projects have never had a problem. You know, a very, very minimal shrinkage in the DTM, little to no shrinkage in the epoxy. Um, you know, the DTM, you could probably think of it as like a polyester, right? A lot of you guys like using the polyester stuff. But the thing with polyester is this. It still has to have a certain amount of resin content, solids. All the Tamco products are based on resin solids. I don't care what Tamco product you pick up, even a base coat. Um, if, you're, if you're big on sanding, which you should be, blocking between primer sessions, DTM is going to get you that high build so you can finalize all the body lines. You can finalize all those little areas and build them up a little bit and give it that you know, that nice little touch, that little love. Um, let me see, what else can I touch on, guys? I, again, this conversation is about foundation. Um, also, I want to talk about a little bit about the HP 2010, which is the top dog adhesion promoter. A lot of you guys are using the more expensive Bulldog, which I used that for years. You know, Bulldog was like the, you know, the thing. You know, like you had Bulldog, you were doing it. Um, a lot of you guys at the same time aren't, um, you guys aren't thinking, you know, if you think about a substrate, no matter if it's, if it's direct to metal sub type substrate project or you sand a piece of plastic, put some adhesion promoter, put, you know, put something, put, put a barrier or something, you know, and it also depends on the area in which you live. You know, a lot of us live in, in areas where the dew points higher at some points of the day. Um, you know, not like California and all those western states where it's dry most of the time. And if it rains, you're lucky. Um, what else can I say? So Top Dog is basically another replacement for your Bulldog. You know, um, you know Bulldog's good stuff. Don't take nothing away from it. Um, save yourself some money. Um, all Tampa products are uh, made in Virginia. They're not outsourced to China and then shipped back and then, you know, taken to some other facility and then watered down. It's not any of that. You know, we've proven that through major, major jobs. Uh, you'll see a couple of photos in this video that will show you, you know, start to finish process. You know, car went from bare metal, car went from bare metal to this awesome primer, you know, surface to sand it, to paint it with no issues. Um, and again, most of you guys aren't doing the foundation type stuff. I mean, you know, making everything a sealer and then painting on top of that, hoping that, you know, it won't shrink. I've seen that. I've been there. I've done that, you know. And again, I'm not, I'm not here to um, say I'm a perfect painter or by no means am I that. But I just know what works and what doesn't work. And at this time... You know, Tamco has proven to maximize uh, their quality potential by building a great product, building something that's inferior uh, to none. Because if you were to match a 5310 to say like a, a PPG Deltron based primer, you're gonna spend 450 or more dollars on a Deltron based primer when you could actually get the same thing through Tammy, Tamco. I mean, I'm only here to promote it based on the usage and why I use it. I'm not paid to say this. I'm doing this for the YouTube channel to reinvigorate my YouTube channel, as well as to give you guys a heads up as far as what products are good and what products you should be using. A lot of you guys don't have that concept yet, but through this video, I hope that you guys can get the resources below. Right before the con the comments, I'm going to have pretty much all the part numbers and the actual website. You can reach Tamco um, direct, and that way you can you can kind of figure out like what's a good product for you, what's not, what's a what's a what's a product that's based on uh, quality 
for your project. A lot of you guys are like dead set nuts on PPG and PPG life and all this. I don't get into that. It's political. All I want to say is that the product is working. Our customers are happy. The people that have had our projects are very happy. Um, and we want you guys to have a good product and understand it and that it's not a gimmick. A lot of you guys get on here and you know, see you guys on the forums. Oh, it's a gimmick. That's crazy. It can't happen. You know, there's no way that she could be selling you guys a product that's, you know, 40% less or 30% less than a PPG or an Exalta. Yes, she's whooping the market's ass in so many words. Um, I hadn't done a video for the review of these products because A, Tanko's doing very well on their own. Much respect and love to them. But at, and two, I'm a stickler when it comes down to foundation and primers. You know, I had to test these products so long before I could really sit there and say, okay, this is what the product should be. This is what the product needs to be. Um, for a lot of you guys, you guys need the resources. So I'm here today to give you guys the resources. Uh, TamcoPaint.com. Uh, order your stuff, you know, pretty much today. You know, get online. They are shipping during this time. Uh, they are not stopping shipping for any reason. Get it to your door with no dents in the can, because I know a lot of you guys get products with dents in the can. They're very good at packaging, um, and they're also good with basic service. So if you guys are about putting down some quality stuff, and you guys want something that's going to last, then give them a shot. You know, um, have a conversation with Tammy from Tamco. Have a shot with have a have a call or talk with anyone from Tamco's team and they'll tell you exactly the properties of these these materials. Um, guys, I made this a, a small video so you guys could see. There'll be some small snippets in this video that'll show some projects we've been working on using their products. If you have any questions, please leave the comments below. Subscribe, like, share. I probably said that backwards, but I did it on purpose. And I want you guys to know we are also here to help you guys, you custom painters, you up and comers, uh, a lot of you new guys in the game. You know, I've been doing this a while. Um, you know, I still ask the basic questions every now and again to get refreshed. Um, if you're looking for any type of advice, um, you know, I'll try to give you the best advice I can. Uh, check us out also, custom culture classes on IG and at Lugos Designs Unlimited at IG. Follow us. Share us, uh, check out the videos to come in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be putting on multiple videos on different topics. Uh, hopefully this will this will help you guys out and getting you guys in the right space. Um, I know a lot of you guys are still questioning, like, well, how do I get started, you know, putting a primer down and, you know, doing all that. I'll tell you this quick tip. The 5310 is bulletproof. I'll do four coats of 5310, let it cure out block sand it say with a, a I'll block this the first round with like a 180 I'll go again four more coats of 5310 I'll go down to like a 220 and if I need to I'll go a third time two to three more coats and I'll block that 320 turn it into a sealer go four to one to two okay because this is a four to one mix but you can go four to one to two reducer reduce it down make it a sealer Seal, seal your project, go right to paint, okay? Epoxy, you gotta be really careful with epoxy. Uh, don't throw it on too heavy, don't go crazy with it. Um, epoxy feels really good and it dries really hard. Um, so what I like to do is on a bare metal project, throw one, between one and three coats, depending on how large the project is, and then let it cure. I'll go like a day at least a day and then and then I'll go back do my body work on top of that um, and then I'll sand all that nice I'll 5310 and start and start my sanding process you know you're gonna spend more time sanding and prepping your project before you even get to paint so remember that um, also I didn't forget the top dog you can do top dog in between coats you know do a one coat top dog do your primer and then do another coat of top dog and then your last coat of primer. I do that to do an ultra lock. It's a little trick that I do. It's been working for years, never had an issue. Um, 
you know, that's in the worst case scenarios. One coat of uh, top dog, you're good to go. Um, and then uh, I'll go to blocking. Again, I'm not here to teach that. I'm just here to say this product can be used exactly for what you need it to do, but just understand the properties and how they work. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for coming by again. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below. Go check out my family, tampopaint.com. Check them out on Facebook. Check them out on Instagram. Shout out to everybody out there. Check out our, our teaching program, Custom Culture Classes at IG. And we will be backing up and running this year. Um, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive. Check you on the flip side.